The new Eyeball Comebook Netizen is billed as India's first always connected PC because it has a built in SIM card slot for 4G cellular data connectivity. Officially, it costs 25,000 rupees, but it's priced at just 16,990 rupees at its exclusive online retailer shopclues.com. Let's see if this could be the ideal laptop for work and entertainment on the go. The new Comebook Netizen is made of glossy grey plastic with a speckled texture on the top and bottom. It's relatively slim and portable at 24mm in thickness and 1.32 kilos in weight. The body isn't very rigid and both the top and bottom flex easily with very little pressure applied. The hinge is stiff and you'll need two hands to open and close this laptop. Eyeball's signature red eye key is a distraction in the sea of grey plastic surrounding it and we wish the brand would drop this little quirk. The island-style keyboard is otherwise reasonably well laid out and even has function key combinations on the right, acting as a virtual number pad. The keyboard keys aren't too stiff or shallow. The arrow keys are a little cramped, but overall typing comfort is actually quite good. We also found the trackpad adequate in terms of comfort and sensitivity. The one problem is the power button in the corner, which is easy to press by mistake when aiming for the backspace key. There's no delay or resistance to prevent you from putting the Compook Netizen to sleep inadvertently. On the left, you'll find the power inlet, one USB 3 port, and a mini HDMI 1.4a video output. There are two USB 2 ports, an Ethernet port, 3.5mm headphones and mic combo socket, and a micro SD card slot on the right. You'll find a webcam above the screen, though its resolution is just 640x480, and you're better off forgetting that it's even there. Two mics just above the keyboard promise stereo audio recording. The bottom of this laptop is actually quite interesting. There are two flaps, each secured by a single screw. The larger of the two lets you add your own 2.5-inch SATA storage device. You get a little kit in the box with the required screws and bracket for a 2.5-inch hard drive or SSD. A leaflet in the box tells us we can't install an OS or boot off this SATA drive. And if you do choose to have one, USB devices that are plugged in might not function normally because of the additional load on this laptop's battery. We're more interested in the second, much smaller flap. This is where your SIM card goes. We were surprised to see that the slot requires a mini SIM, which most people consider to be a full-sized SIM card. Strangely, there's also a label indicating that there's a micro SD card slot under this flap, but there really isn't one. The Intel Celeron N3350 processor is just about as entry-level as a CPU can get these days. It's somewhat dated and is based on the Atom-class Apollo Lake platform. It also has a basic Intel HD Graphics 500 integrated GPU, which is far too weak for gaming, but does fully accelerate H.265 and VP9 video. You get 4GB of RAM and 64GB of embedded storage. The micro SD card slot lets you add up to 128GB of storage, and there's the SATA bay if you choose to use it. There's Wi-Fi 802.11n and Bluetooth 4 for wireless connectivity in addition to 4G. The battery capacity is 37 watt hours and you get a simple wall watt adapter in the box. The Combook Netizen comes with Windows 10 Home and there's no preloaded bloatware except for a configuration shortcut for the cellular modem. It seems that Eyeball has used some kind of internally wired USB adapter that Windows recognizes as a virtual Ethernet connection. You can't use the usual Windows 10 settings. Instead, the desktop shortcut opens your default web browser to an internal configuration page. This is the only way to check your signal strength, connection type, and status. There are some basic settings here that you can change, and you also have the option to send and receive SMS messages and manage your SIM's phone book. There didn't seem to be any cellular voice capabilities. Our review unit initially didn't recognize 4G SIM cards from two different service providers despite multiple attempts and reboots. However, a day later, everything worked perfectly fine. We were online automatically with a steady 4G connection. There's no Windows system tray icon telling you when you are or aren't connected or what your signal strength is. You'll also have to disable the cellular connection manually as it stays on along with any Wi-Fi network you're connected to because Windows handles it like a wired network connection. That said, cellular data service worked really well. We began to take it for granted, expecting our Compook to work just like our smartphones do. There was no waiting, no configuration, and no dongles to worry about. In that sense, the Compook Netizen is a success. However, this is still a very low-end budget notebook, and general performance was not great.
Windows 10 boots relatively quickly but is sluggish. With more than 5 or 6 tabs open in Microsoft Edge, we found that there were occasional momentary freezes and frustrating stutters when trying to do something as simple as clicking the browser's address bar to type a URL. It often took several seconds just to open a simple JPEG image saved on the device's internal storage. If we stuck to the absolute basics, we were okay. One pleasant surprise is that the 14-inch screen has a full HD 1920x1080 pixel resolution. Viewing angles aren't bad at all, but colors are a little dull and we noticed a bit of uneven backlight bleed at high brightness levels. That said, videos looked crisp and text was very readable. The speakers are just plain awful though. The sound is screechy and tinny with no depth or richness whatsoever. The eyeball combook netizen ran for 4 hours 16 minutes in our intense battery eater protest. We did manage to get about 12 hours of use and had about 20% left over at the end, but we naturally kept things light with only basic web surfing and a bit of video streaming. Eyeball clearly sees a market opportunity and always on cellular connectivity genuinely could be a game changer for business people and frequent travellers. The way that Eyeball has patched hardware and software together is an excellent example of ingenuity, or jugad as we like to call it. Sadly, even if you're willing to spend more money on a more powerful and polished laptop, you won't find many choices in India with 4G cellular data built in. With data plans more affordable than ever before, the Compook Netizen could be a really interesting choice for a lot of people, and we hope big brands get the message. Thanks for watching. That was our review of the Eyeball Compook Netizen. For more reviews and videos like this, do visit us at gadgets360.com.